Hey, I'm Andy. And my name's Matt. And today, we've got something a little bit interesting. This Commodore here will beat a Ferrari. Let's go. Matt has called me up today to film with a Commodore. Now, he brought me up to film with a VK. This is not a VK. What is this? This is a VS Commodore. VS. He's, he's brought me an hour from my home to film a taxi. Well, you wanted to film with a Commodore. So not, I brought one. Not this Commodore. <laughs> this is a slab of VB and a fucking steak. That's what that is. Slab of VB. Oh, shit. You're going to get the Commodore owners upset. Everyone was asking for the VK, but if you like the VK, you're going to fuck the shit out of this. Personally, I don't really understand the appeal to these, but if you reckon people are going to like it, you may as well show us. Oh, there's a great babe for this. <laughs> Um, now I'm no Commodore expert, nor am I, but that is not standard. No, no. So we've changed the V6 a little bit. You've added an extra two cylinders. There has been two. I haven't personally done the work on this car. It, what hide it, is that? Hide it, hide it. There's no exhaust there. No. What's the deal? It's no exhaust. What the fuck is that? Yeah, no. And your NOS. This car has NOS! And your NOS. Take your drifts. <laughs> What's a quarter mile? Oh, have, do you know? know? I do know. What is I it? I don't want them to know. On the right tyres, not on the uh, Habil... Habibilab. Habil Habil <laughs> something. On the right, right <laughs> tyres with NOS, we'll run 10.8. Just so you know, that is faster than a Ferrari 458, apparently. I don't believe it. Google Facts. Dr. Google Facts. Says that this is faster than a Ferrari. Yeah, so... The interior of this is shit. A lot better than a Ferrari. Well, can you fit four lovely people in the back of... Oh, sorry, in your Ferrari? Five, actually. Five? Six, if you want to risk it without a seatbelt. This is not exactly standard. Let's hear his V6 Ecotech. I don't believe him for some reason. Car was already warm. I wouldn't be doing that. For cars anymore. That is not a V6 Ecotech, Matt. Have you been pulled over by the police in this thing by any chance? No. 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 Nor has the previous. So owner. they've seen this the previous owner. with the Steelies and the ridiculous, obnoxious V8, and done nothing. Nothing. Right. Let me show you what the interior of this beautiful car looks like. Come with me. Oh yeah. So the Australian special is plastic with some more plastic and a little bit more plastic. It's very spartan in there. Um, smells nice though, but I think that's because you have a little tree thing hanging from it. Tree smell lovely. <laughs> oh mate, this is bloody outrageous. This is a really silly car. Wop, 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 it's, wop. Silly. it's a bit of fun though. We're gonna it's die and this will be my memoir. Yeah, this is a closed piece of road. This is actually part of Matt's farm, so please do not do, do not come looking. This is, just, <laughs> this is just a constant state of panic. Any moment now, Matt is going to be coming down that road. You can already hear him. He's going to be coming down just to show you how loud and ridiculous this car is. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's just... why? Outrageous. Oh, you know what? You have your fun and then let's skadoodle. Skadoodle. Do you want to wait for me to put my fucking seat oh, yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> that way, if at least I die, then they know I was safe. No, I die. I die. It's I very basic in here. Under this, you've got an airbag that's popped out. See, the thing about Commodores that I like personally 
one, they're just, they're just fun. Two, there's plenty of parts. They provide good power. It's a very reasonable car to own. Like if, you, if you're getting similar power out of something exotic, parts are hard to find, insurance is more, like it's all... After seeing this, I know it's shit and all the rest of it, but do you sort of see where I'm coming from with these cars? But honestly, I, I don't love it. Like, I, I, at this point in the video, I'd usually be like, you know, I can understand it and I respect it and... I, it doesn't do it for me. It just... No. I fucking love it. <laughs> I fucking love but it. But what I can appreciate, though, is the fact that people do have their differences in taste. And I respect this car and I, I understand why you would like it, but... Doesn't it just, it. I would not look for them, I wouldn't buy them, I wouldn't want to own one. It just doesn't do it for me. Whereas, I, I don't know, all the European cars, like a 90s M5 or a 90s, you know, 3 Series Beamer. I love those as well. Everyone in the car community is entitled to enjoy whatever they like. Owning a car is all about driving pleasure. And if you get pleasure from a car like this, amazing. If you like Mini Coopers, who fucking cares? Like, it's all about just whatever you, whatever you like, this does it for me. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and follow along on the journey. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Now. I know that most of you guys are not from Australia. And in that case, this is what we have. This was the best Australia could do in 1996. Typically, I like to focus on more premium, more expensive looking cars. Doing, man? I mean, like, what are you filming, bro? What's this piece? Oh, it's my piece of shit. Oh. That's your piece of shit, man.